Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads. Uh, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade English. Week number 16 and day number 3. Alright, so today we're going to be doing our phonics and spelling lesson again. And today we're going to be looking at plurals that end in letter Y. Nouns that end in Y form their plurals in two ways. Number one, if there is a vowel before the, the final Y, simply add s. In other words, if you have toy, you can see there is a vowel o before the y, it's going to be two toys. Day is going to be two days. Now number two, if there is a consonant, if there is a consonant before the final y, change the y to i and then add es. In other words, berry is going to be berries. Okay, So we're going to use that rule to answer a few questions right now. So question number one, they give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild blank quench their thirst. The wild donkeys. All right. So did you see that there is going to be a vowel here before the Y? And then we are just going to add S. All right. Question number two. Without pity, he pierces my blank and spills my gall on the ground. He pierces my kidney. kidneys. All right. Question number three. He spread, spreads out the northern blank over empty space. He suspends the earth over nothing. All right. And it's going to be skies. Now, in this case, we're going to drop the Y and replace the Y with IES because there's a consonant uh, before the Y. All right. Question number four. He gathers the lambs in his arms and blanks them close to his heart and carries carries them close to his heart. Now this one is uh, not a noun. This is a third person singular verb. But just to let you know that as well. Um, question number five. God sets the lonely in blank. He leads them out. He leads out the prisoners with singing. God set the lonely in families. All right? Did you see that? We dropped the Y and replace it with IES because a consonant precedes the Y. All right, question number six. They made its lamp, its seven lamps, as well as its wick trimmers and blank of pure gold and trays of pure gold, All right? Uh, question number seven. On one of these blank, I was going to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priest on one of these journeys. Okay, do you see that? Journeys. Question number eight. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated blank, fabricated stories. All right. Question number nine. Go out quickly into the streets and blank of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. Streets and alleys okay okay because there is a there's a vowel here we're just gonna add s to it All right question number 10 but I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my du duties All right did you see that we dropped the Y replaced it with IES because there's a consonant before the Y Question number 11, because she took captive whole blank and sold them to Edom. She took captive communities, all right? Drop the Y and add IES. All right, question number 12, as dead blank give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. Okay, dead flies, all right? Question number 13. The blank of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen. White and clean. The armies. Okay, armies of heaven. Question number 14. May you hear the prayer of your servant blank toward this place? Your servant prays toward this place, but in this case, praise over here is going to be a third person 
singular verb. All right. Uh, question number 15. Anyone who divorces his wife and blanks another woman commits adultery against her, well, marries. That's going to be third person singular verb. All right. Question number 16. It was necessary then for the blank of the heavenly things to be purified for the copies. Okay. So that's going to be uh, a noun over there. So you're welcome right now to try to do these words by yourself. All right. So we're talking about um, this word. What's it going to be in the plural tense? All right. There you go. You want to hear what that words can be spelled like? Let's see. Diary. Diary. Diary, which is going to be like this over there. Good work. All right. Uh, what about this one? Library. The plural tense of it is going to be libraries. Okay. What about pony? It's going to be. Knees, okay, because of this and over here, uh, but you're welcome to verify that. All right, pony, a small horse, okay, pony, pony, a pony, 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 okay, pony. All right, what about monkey? Well, that's gonna be. Monkeys. All right. So try to form sentences, sentences with these words over there. You're welcome to check your dictionary just to validate that for you. And that's what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.